claims this red lyrium is not coming from the deep roads. Airmen are out of the road and down to single station bastards. We're losing the animal grades. Have you gotten what we're fighting for? We're going to do for our future, for our lives. The limo rolls taken, my first gone. We're losing our grip. What now? Men are starting to bulk, talking about giving up. As I said, as soon as you take out the leader, the rest will fall. What the hell is Zeus doing here? Or is that Poseidon? Looks like one of the Greek deities. Getting the hang of figuring out when to open my own rifts. Looking good, mate. White Shadow. Good name. Oh, Christ. Okay, looks like from here on out, you're going to have to watch this video without my commentary, which would probably be a relief for some of you. Have fun.
another letter mentioning Samson, and papers with names. Cullen could use this. that it came to this, but at least it is done. Please, please open the door. I can't stand it in here another second.
saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. Who are these freemen of the Dales? Most are deserters from the war, tired of fighting and dying for a cause in which they have no stake. But recently, the freemen have organized, started attacking anyone and everyone. Their new leaders are driving them to take the Dales for themselves. I need to be going. I'll be here. Any news, Inquisitor? The Freemen have been defeated. They hurt so many of my people. Now it's finally over. Thank you. Perhaps with the Freemen gone, we can find a proper home. Argon's Lodge was always well situated. Inquisitor. I need to be going. I'll be here. Smugglers we interrogated gave up the Red Templar's main source of red lyrium, Inquisitor. It's located in the Dales, near a town called Sarnia. Destroying the mine there will cripple Samson's operations. Excellent work, Commander. I'll investigate the mine. Destroying the Red Templar's source of lyrium will be a loss Samson won't soon forget. Okay, the time has come to continue the story, and mainly because I've cleared out, I've I found the level requirements for certain areas, I'm going to clear them out in order. The only thing I can't clear out in those areas is the dragons, so I'm going to come back to them at some point, but this class, I'm going to go to support, large class of Grey Wardens moved into the western approach, you need to establish a foothold there immediately. Send the forces. The Grey Wardens have been lured due to a death cry or something. Basically believe that they're going to die so we're all amassing here. We don't know why or what this purpose this is, but we need to find them. Say what you're all about the loading screens, but for as long as they are, they don't let us read the captions in their entirety. So if you're chasing pieces, if you don't want to read the codex stuff. That's why I've opened it. Welcome to the Western Approach. We've cited warden activity to the southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Well, it's good to know what I'm in for. Sorry, I don't have more for you. We intercepted a Venatory messenger and, uh, persuaded him to give up the orders he was carrying. We have them here. This entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. Hmm. With our allies and Templars redeploying and abandoning their mine and canyons, we will now focus our efforts in excavations and summoning attempts. Summoning what? After I have a work 
go have a word with our white claw associates, I'll be sending further resources your way. The gates of Toth. No good. We'll have to find another way. So, what? Uh, by some kind of mechanism. Oh, I'm going to have fun exploring and opening that door and getting in there. Holy sh. Check the cave first, but I'm definitely going there next. Hope stakes, all plans for the mine in the western approach were off. The Inquisition's on the move and headed your way. Dump all the bodies and relocate to Empress Dulian. They just got the Bastards got lucky. They only died. And the distance must be what we're after. Ooh. Is that river or oil? I'm not hundred percent sure. Not quite so delirious now, is it? <laughs> Holy! Fuck me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Jesus. Uh, when I see something that looks cool on fire like that, my brain goes, I have to take a look at it. I mean, look at it. Ah, there's a drag. it's where the dragon is. Boom. 
one less rift to so, worry about. Enchanter to the Imperial Court. That's a fancy title. How very observant. Why aren't you holed up with the Empress in Halam Shiral? Grand Duke Gaspard laid siege to the city while I was attending to business for the Circle. Lucky for you, I guess. The Circle's shattered, the Empire is at war, and the Divine is dead. Only an imbecile would consider this lucky. Depends what you, how well you look at it, I suppose. Inquisitor. So they, oh, move on. I could be, I could be exploring, I could be recording and exploring all of this. I don't know how much of this is actually going to end up in the video. Maybe I'll just hope to put, just put the story pieces in for a few more, a few more of the yeah, more interesting side missions. And the rest can can do off screen. Well, there is I can't record all of it. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Commander Clarel's orders were clear. This is wrong. Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good. Now find him. Sacrificing wardens in order to control the demons. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond of Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? Wardens, this man is lying to you. He serves an ancient of Intermagister who wants to unleash a blight. That's a very serious accusation. Let's see what the Wardens think. Wardens, hands up. Hands down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarel full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Oh, that demon army. Ah, I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Hades. So Griffius influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No. Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator, and they were very afraid. That's a lie. 
The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof, no more blights, ever. The Wardens sacrifice their lives and save the world. Although I fear history will remember them a little differently now. Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across Olé. Now they are bound to my master. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it like the mindless darkspawn. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. Somebody's certainly a tool. Yeah. As for me, while the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here. Bullshit. Release the Wardens from the Binding and surrender. I won't ask twice. No, you won't. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you're foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your help, his gratitude will be... <laughs> Kill them! And he slivers away. I guess there's no avoid in taking out the what's to possess wardens then. Who's next? Who's left? Shout, get up. They refuse to listen to reason. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Eremond lied to the Wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. The Wardens were wrong, Fork. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eremond fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. I guess they didn't want to summon a demon army out in public. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. <laughs> 